selection they are not so uh, perfect and I feel like this one's going to be good in terms of taste not like the size and you know and the, um, the the beauty of it but I really aim for a very good strawberry taste and usually for propagation I planted them into separate patches of land so that I could like get runners and then to plant them on the place and propagate them even more so these ones are not going to be used for berries I only plant them in order to get runners on them We decided to finally occupy this wild patch of land and here we're going to plant trees. So there we have old apples and we're going to plant all the trees in between that apple tree and the walnut. Right now we need to clear everything in here. Then if you can see there is a row and we're going to plant the trees into the row so that to make it even. I have planted celeriac, two rows of it, Chinese cabbage for early crop and for kimchi of course, and in there I have onion. It's not visible <laughs> from above. That's how it looks like before I'm going to put the net. The net is from plastic. The cells are very small, approximately one and a half centimeters, and that is the um, the size of the cell uh, that obviously will protect from the mole. And it's one meter wide, and we're going to put it in here, and then covering again everything with. The soil. These are, by the way, the sunflower seeds that we use as a mulch here. Yeah, that's how my mum loves sunflower seeds. <laughs> Thank you. 
For this year, I found a very interesting idea for tomatoes that I would like to try. So this idea is the following. You take two tomato seeds, you plant it into one pot and then you grow two of them in this pot and subsequently it goes like two stems into the open. I know that many people grow, for example, one tomato plant and then they form this tomato plant so that to have like two, three or even four stems on it with the help of the side shoots. But um, I found a very good farmer who suggested to grow like separate plants. Yeah, you will need more seeds eventually, but the point is that when these tomatoes, like um, when they grow separately, when they are not side shoots, but they are actual plants with their own root system, the results are going to be better than from one plant that has like several side shoots. And I'm going to try out this idea uh, this um, summer, but not for all tomatoes, obviously, because there are some tomatoes that have like very powerful growth and uh, it will not work out for these types of tomatoes. That's why I picked like some tomatoes that would not like be bothered by sitting in one place. Then following the instruction, I'm going to lay them down like that and spreading into two opposite directions and then covering with them with the soil until this point and then they will grow um, eventually they will grow upwards they will not lay on the ground so eventually it looks like this and uh, obviously i left the leaves it's not it's very important not to damage them otherwise um there will be some consequences but yeah that's how it looks i've never planted them like that but i feel like they the results will be good so the patch is ready as you can see i planted every tomato plant in the same way and their root system is in between in the middle these ones are actually the ones i planted yesterday yesterday just for a try and they are not lying down they raise their heads up i'm going to plant mint and catnip here I already have lemon balm growing if you remember how small lemon balm was but right now it formed several bushes and it's going to be very high but these leaves are perfectly fine even for taking them for tea and I also thought about where I was going to plant everything else and I thought that this patch of land could be ideal for forming like a kind of like um, tea border so growing all the plants and uh, every like herbs and spices here especially for tea
I have planted four rows of beetroot this year, obviously, approximately one week earlier than the previous year. And the second half of this patch will be for potatoes, but only one type of potatoes because from uh, the previous video, you may know that I'm going to experiment with potato planting and introducing different varieties. That's how the potatoes are looking right before I'm going to sow them. So the point is that I'm digging the holes approximately 20 centimeters deep and for every pit I'm going to use like um, approximately four to five stems of potatoes and I'm going to place them like that so that the roots that are forming in here could touch the bottom like that and the second one will be a little bit apart from it and that is like four yeah four stems for one bush also i need to be very careful so that not to break the stems so i'm going to cover it with the soil very carefully without damaging very long and the level of water is very high because that is spring right now and obviously um, in reality and during summer the river is smaller but right now the level of water is is obviously higher than usual but as you can look around I mean like probably until that part trees Very good for picnics, for fishing. 
Uh, I tried to fish, but unfortunately, um, unfortunately, there, still there was no fish, and um, the, the fish in general doesn't catch the bait. But that's just for fun. So if you take a closer look on that, I mean, like bushes and trees, uh, you actually have the remaining um, the remaining parts of straw that uh, like that's the result of the high level of water that was in the first half of April. Well, right now the river is there, but can you imagine like all the way to the forest and you can see some parts like the straw on the bushes. The video about the second half of preparation will be soon enough. Meanwhile, look at how I grew a lemon balm before I planted it into the open. Have a relaxing gardening with me and find out about my numerous graftings this year.